Live from Quahog, Rhode Island, this is Channel 5 Action News with Tom Tucker, Diane Simmons, and Black U Weather Meteorologist Ollie Williams. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker. And I'm Diane Simmons. It was a moving scene today at Hatch Pond as six members of the Pawtucket Fire Department struggled valiantly to save the life of a fish trapped under the frozen ice. Rescue workers managed to get the fish out of the water, but unfortunately, it died shortly after. The scene outside the U.S. Putorian border as the sun rises on day one of Operation Desert Clam. Good morning, I'm Diane Simmons. We now go to Tom Tucker, live at the site of the U.S. blockade. Tom. The situation is very tense and extremely dangerous. It's only a matter of time before, uh... Oh my God, they've opened fire. All right, looks like things are getting very heated here. This is not a safe place to be. And now sports. In local news, a new drug craze may have Coag students licked. It's called toad. The Colombian spotted toad, to be precise, Diane. When licked, these toads trigger an intense psychedelic euphoria that, that's just great. But today at Buddy Cianci Junior High, an egg drop conducted by teacher Randall Fargus seems to have gone horribly, horribly wrong. We now go live to Action News 5 Asian reporter, Trisha Takanawa. Well, Tom, the eggs being dropped behind me are not chicken eggs, but those of the endangered California condor. This was the scene at the drunken clam last night as a car driven by an intoxicated infant caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. Put, uh, put this on my tab. It was, it was like all slowed down, you know? And I was like, whoa, but I couldn't stop it. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Come on, ah, oh, ah, oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Eat my dust, Crash Bandicoot. Tom, you're on in two. Good evening. We're going live to the Drunken Clam, where Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa is having a few drinks and reportedly loved the movie Long Time. Trisha? I'm standing here with Peter Griffin. Peter, congratulations on your big night. Thank you, thank you very much. Hey, how's uh, Mr. Reddy's father doing? <laughs> that's fresh. Our top story today, cowardly kids lay down rubber at the old Selberg place. Wait, 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 turn that up. Peter Griffin and Glenn Quagmire were seen bolting... were seen bolting out of the supposedly haunted house after just one half hour, leaving only their pride and twin trails of urine behind them. Alan Adler, David Preshlak, Julie Axelrod, Shep Sutton, Scott McCormick. And that concludes the list of people who were mean to me in junior high. Tomorrow, high school. Finally, we go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for 60 seconds of filler. Thanks, Tom. I'm here on Spooner Street, where several Quahog families are holding a car wash to raise money for an organ transplant for young Paul Lewis. This is Trisha Takanawa reporting live where police have discovered the whereabouts of Seabreeze, the heiress to the pewter Schmidt fortune. The dog napper has been traced to the sleazy motel. Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <laughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Evil twin Todd Tucker out. Hello, Tom Tucker, live at James Woods High School with this sensational breaking story. A teacher caught molesting children with crackpot theories. Full story at 11. And out. And in entertainment, Mary Tyler Moore is 64 years old today. Really? 64? Yes. Now, I thought she was dead. Nope, she's alive. Fantastic. Well, Hurricane Norman is beginning to pound Quahog. We now go live to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for a look at how locals are dealing with the imminent disaster. Trisha? Diane, I'm hearing... Police have a new suspect. We now go live to Hispanic reporter Maria... G G G Gimen Jimenez. I know what it is. Well, Tom, at this moment, we're approaching the suspect's house. Hands up, Griffin. You're coming with us. Hey, hey, hang on, hang on. I want to see what they do with this jackass. Hands up. Oh, my God, Peter, you didn't. Hey, Fatty's wife is a babe. That's it. Well, Tom, it appears the real arsonist is in custody. Our top story, beloved entertainer Bob Hope briefly came back to life today, only to die in a tragic motorcycle accident. Hey, I'm going to jump all those trash cans. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome back to Channel 5 News at 10. For those of you wondering what I've been writing down as we go to commercial, it's a cat. Just a cat. Also, scientists announced today that if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Got you! Oh, ah! 
At the top of the news, Quahog is suffering its worst heat wave in a century. That's right, Diane. We now go live to Ollie Williams with the Black U Weather Report. How are you beating the heat, Ollie? Swimming hole! Thanks, Ollie. There was drama in the skies of Quahog today as a transnational 767 was forced to make a crash landing. That's right, Diane. As if the world weren't already scary enough, it seems you can't even get on a plane safely these days. Channel 5 has the spectacular footage. Mm -hmm. 